Um, I know you have to sit five minutes to listen to me talk of myself and what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to say, why I'm doing this thing, what is the problem, how it relates to STDs and how I'm going to do it, and what impact do I expect. I will beg my group to forgive me because I didn't change the title of this slide. Um, you will see that then, you will see that subsequently. Um, so why am I doing this? Actually, it relates to my master's thesis. I, I, I had the privilege of visiting a wonderful country, Tanzania, and uh, during my master's thesis, I went to the Pokela, which is in Songea. And um, we're measuring the impact of large-scale land acquisitions on the right to educate food. Yes, food is a right. And I, I was talking, I, after we got results from my master's thesis, and we saw that these people have limited access to, to food because of the infringement of their rights to this large-scale land acquisition thing, I told my supervisor that, look, these people, yes, they have a problem, but is that the source of the problem? And we are not tackling, tackling, tackling the problem, really. <coughs> so the question comes up. What the large scale land acquisitors are doing is actually legal because they are following the law. But it has a consequence, which is, which is a moral implication. And how do you juxtapose justice and morality? Yes? If I'm not doing a hypothesis, hypothesis test, but if you want to take this as, a, as some hypothesis, uh, if fairness rests on the law, Fairness doesn't rest on the law, but on the activities and attitudes of people. So we have to see how the cultural environment or the norm of people actually make them capable of making use of the law as a resource. And so this is the problem, as it looks like. So you have all of these predators coming to this prey to capture land. What I, was, what I wanted to show you was the other picture of the predator going to different countries, and the, the, that imagery is, is really... So why don't we just cut off the predator itself? And my supervisor told me, hold on, you don't have that much power to, to target these people up here. So let's actually see what we can do somewhere along this line to, to kind of measure the problem and kind of solve this issue as it is. So my, the target of the research is on justice, peace, and then it also has something to do with reducing uh, inequality as well. So how am I going to do this? I've been to Songea, and uh, it's a very nice place, and you will not see faces on this picture because of the power, power implications of my research. And that's me in the middle, so I'm going to do an ethnographic uh, socio-legal research. I'm going to use this framework, so using law as a legal resource, and how those social norms like, um, um, limits or, 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 or supports or uh, uh, enhances the capabilities of small-scale farmers to make use of this resource. Is the culture making them fearful? Are they afraid? How is their physiological situation? Are they handicapped? Are they strong enough to, to, to go to lawyers? Are they uh, capable of making use of this? I'm not a lawyer by profession. I'm more of a social scientist. And uh, what's the physical environment? How are the roads? How are the, the legal uh, institutions placed? Are they accessible? Is it far in, 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 in Dar es Salaam and somebody has to move from, from the Bukela to go there? And uh, what's the impact? Why I was apologizing was because I was supposed to put what impact did I get from my master's thesis. And these were the impacts that I got through communication. So what I did was presented in so many conferences. And that's why I have attended so many sessions and I talked of the importance of communications and how you should be able to communicate your research in the most simple of terms to the common man on the street. And these are the impacts that we got. Now, government officers who were involved in this project, some of them were fired. I wouldn't say solely because of my research, but because of so many other complex, <laughs> complex networking and things. The salaries, now this is a minimum wage in, 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 in Tanzania, according to the law, which is agreeable, but you cannot live with 4,000 shillings uh, in this current circumstances. So it was increased to 5,000. Now toilets were provided. Previously, the workers in the plantation in Songhea had one toilet, but the number of toilets have been increased, which is a significant change. And there's also a pilot project on training farmers how to grow coffee, so that they could sell to the large-scale farmer and get some money. And um, so I will participate in conferences and, and, and extend the network of my research, focus on the already established networks as well, and try to get more impact of the research to Asante Sana, Thank you. That's wonderful to Manjaro where I'm going to be staying. Thank you so much.